curls. Look at the curls popping. Hairstyling. What is your favorite hairstyle? Here are four tips on how to style your natural hair in order to promote hair growth. So if you're ready, let's go! Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Silvia Jumo here. Today I'm bringing to you a really nice video about hair care and how to promote your hair growth. Hairstyling is a very important factor in our natural hair journey and learning how to style your natural hair will help you understand which styles suit you and which styles help your hair to grow and also which styles prevent your hair from growing. Number one, stretched hairstyles. Try to keep your hair stretched as possible. You can achieve this with different hairstyles as roller set, braid out, twist out, any style that stretches your hair. In that way, you prevent knots and breakage. Breakage is a very big turn down for natural hair and even single strand knots is something we all deal with. So keep your hair stretched as possible. Number two, protective hairstyles. I just love the fact that our hair is so versatile that you can do so many styles and enjoy the, your hair. There are so many styles that you can try and at the same time you keep your hair protected. That is why we call it a protective style, in order to protect your hair and help it and push it to grow. Some protective styles you can add into your, into your styling list is like is some braids, some twists. I love mini twists and I think they're absolutely lovely for summer. Not so small, not so big. It depends on the style you're going for. I can go with small mini twists, I can go with medium, and there is also beauty in larger twists. So depending on your style, you can go for buns, twists, braids, and if your natural hair is long enough, you can just do the styles with your own natural hair because if your hair is long enough, your hair will thank you for doing the styles just with your hair rather than adding extra hair to your hair. Try to do the styles just with your hair and give your hair a break from any extra addition. Number three. Oh, oops. Number three. Avoid tight hairstyles. Because you know, tight hairstyles can cause breakage and some of them can cause balding. I mean, is if you style your hair so tight, it can look beautiful in the beginning, but at the end, you will see breakage and even some bald spot if the style is really that tight. So that is why I am suggesting that you avoid really tight hairstyles. Even if you do a puff like I have a puff right now, try to try to not tight your hair really that much because we are trying to avoid breakage okay so number three is avoid very very excessively tight hair styles so less breakage less balding more hair growth and number four avoid excessive heat on your hair once in a while you can style your natural hair depending on your regimen heat may work for you but if you are trying to grow your natural hair and your hair is not doing very well with heat i suggest that you take a break from heat and focus on the health of your hair rather than much of styles that includes heat okay heat can be blow dry can be flat ironing and try try air dry i remember when i was transitioning i did air dry my hair most of the time or sit under the hooded dryer. You can try these two techniques and leave your hair to dry naturally and it will be much better than using heat every time you wash your hair, okay? Unless your hair is very is doing very well with heat and can give you the desired result and it can still grow and can be healthy, then kudos to you, keep it up. But for those that their hair is not really that good with heat, I suggest just to leave the heat aside for a moment and try to air dry, keeping your hair stretched, okay? The secret is air drying and using styles that will help your hair to be stretched because if you don't keep your hair stretched and you air dry, your hair will be, will come together and form this society
Okay, I'm joking. Okay, it will just give it a chance for single cell knots and mattedness and that. So just try to keep your hair straight as possible. So these are my tips for building your regimen and styling your natural hair. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. So I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Take care. God bless. Bye.